right, Matt, so there's 13,500 miles on this truck, and most of those belong to you. So what's the driving experience of Volvo Super Truck? What does it feel like? It doesn't feel like any conventional truck you drive down the road today. With all the aerodynamic improvements, the modifications to mirrors, the use of cameras, your traditional driving practices still do work, but you have to take special considerations into the fact that now we have the minimum requirement for actual mirrors of 50 centimeters and the bulk of our mirrors are now done with cameras. One other consideration that has to be taken care of is the fact that this truck is very low to the ground. Our, our traditional chassis has very large ground clearance, but this truck I think we're hovering around four inches with some of the fairings, depending on where, you're, where you measure around the truck. With only four inches, of course, that comes into consideration with maneuverability, tight corners, and potentially tight turns. What I'm doing right now is just supervising whatever is happening right now in the new controller that we've been developing. Um, the controller is taking control over some features in the truck, like gear shifting, uh, alternator uh, charging, current, and different other uh, options that we've been implementing in this new controller. So this controller is standalone and function by itself. What I'm doing is just making sure it doesn't go crazy. Um, the controller can be controlled only with this orange box on the dashboard and nothing else is needed except this and the driver control over regular control. Alright Cliff, you're the one who actually built a lot of this truck and there's a lot of custom components to this truck. So what were some of the challenges that come with assembling super truck? Biggest thing was uh, making things look seamless and production and, uh, and very presentable. A lot of the pieces were uh, actually part production, but I'd say 40% of it was one-off pieces where we uh, didn't have CAD to tell us what to do. In other words, we uh, you know had to make things fit for us. We we're putting on an alloy frame and. Uh, we're uh, putting components on for waste heat recovery that have never been on a vehicle. And, uh, you know, we just had to make it work and uh, make it work safely and look as production as we could and uh, very presentable for people that did want to look at it. Was there one part or one piece of the truck somewhere that just caused you the most trouble? I mean, like I said, there, a lot of this truck is custom built. So did you hit an area where you were just you know, beating your head against the wall thinking, how are we going to pull this off? Uh, well, the biggest challenge was, uh, in my opinion, was routing airlines and electrical so that, uh, that we didn't have chafing problems, that we had it away from heat and uh, things like that was, was probably the biggest challenge to me. The, the other stuff, you know, was, was really planned out well as far as what we could use CAD for.